<laughs> Welcome back to Good Morning La La Land. We are so honored to have Sloane Bellish, psychic medium, astrologer, modern day metaphysician, and mom. And I'd say you're seriously an entrepreneur, right? I have been, yes, my mm -hmm. whole life. I do <laughs> what I want to do. It's a calling. Well, you were just yeah. born this way, right? You. Cue Lady Gaga, let's <laughs> talk about that. Right? Now, is this something you mentioned it's in your genetics? Were other women in your family psychics as well? Oh, she asked me that. I'm adopted, so I don't know. Wow. Um, <laughs> I'm assuming. Mm. Um, but my oldest son is a medium and was since he was this big. He came out really? of the womb talking to me about who I was in his past life. and. He's exceptionally gifted. My youngest wow. son has it in a different way through dreams. So they express it differently. So I'm just curious just to distinguish mediumship versus, you know, other abilities. From my perspective, I was born also a medium I had like entities mm -hmm. around me, shut it down, turn on later in life the ability to just go to source, right? So right. you call it Oracle. I'm an Oracle. Um, no, just like <laughs> a a, the ability to really just stream into source, right? right. So mm -hmm. what is that distinction for people to understand what psychic mediumship is? Well, being psychic is being able to go back in the past, present, or future. Okay, get predi ah. predictions, what yep. we call. Uh -huh. There's a ghost back there. Right? Um, <laughs> little ghost. Um, I can kind of see him too. He's wearing a blue shirt. But anyway, <laughs> um, <laughs> um, you're, you're able to tell past, present, and future so you get strands of thought like little movie flashes in your head about what's going to happen and you mm -hmm. have to interpret them the person has to interpret wow. mediumship is the ability to connect with energy that has crossed out of the physical body mm -hmm. and gone on somewhere else and there isn't just one somewhere else there's many somewhere else right. and just wow. to go to that what you just said was very key the psychic can go to the past present and future, but they have to interpret it through their own oh, absolutely. psyche. And so that's wow. where a lot of uh, times we we'll crazy. say, <laughs> yeah, like psychics can be really out of ethics because they have to interpret it through their own Right, and that's a human thing. Mm -hmm. um, it doesn't even matter. When it, well, actually, I will tell you this. One of the best psychics I know, and she's off the hook between normal and crazy. She's more crazy than normal, if you will. Uh, medicated a lot of the time, but spot on accurate. So it's not really like if you're moral or ethical, what it is is if you can receive the information without judgment and speak it exactly. without being judged. Yes. That's the hardest agree. thing. When I say something mm. to somebody and they look at me like, <laughs> like mm -hmm. this and I'm like, Oh God, um, you know, I'm praying inside. I'm like, yeah. don't hurt me. Um, but if I don't allow them to judge me, I'm able to get the information and just give it to you. You take responsibility agree. for it or not. I'm glad wow. that we totally agree. Yeah, on yeah, that. Mm -hmm. absolutely. Yeah. So that's how it works. Cause there's a lot of people that are, there's psychic or intuitive can be for good or bad. It can be for everything. Mm -hmm. Wow. So meditation then is really a way to clear out that inner space so you both receive it purely mm -hmm. and then you communicate it purely without judgment without correct judgment. Love because it. our human self we judge we get mm -hmm. up you know uh do i look okay is my breath bad mm -hmm. did i take the garbage out oh my god the laundry what will people think if they see my laundry i mean we go mm -hmm. right down that road wow and the more you were talking about being well you're a man so you're logical men are more logical sorry ladies but usually they are mm -hmm. okay so men come from a very scientific mindset in that it's a equals b equals c therefore my intuition is none of that but when you think about it we're only here 70 80 years the rest of our existence is in the spirit realm so that's not logical mm -hmm. if you go to church what's logical about that i've asked people do you talk to god buddha allah whichever one and they're like Huh? I'm like, well, why are you sitting here? I want to know why you're here. Mm -hmm. So it's not a logical thing. Yeah. So we just do it. It's a societal thing. Mm -hmm. So you have to get out of your man mind. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, I've been working on that yeah. my whole life. We don't want too much yeah. out of it. We yeah, don't want yeah, you yeah. being like, yeah, you know, yeah. not a man. But sure. yeah. Um, but you have to actually allow for thinking to come. And some of your best businessmen um, are that kind of a person where they can see it and they don't care, they go for it. Mm -hmm. And I actually think a lot of um, successful businessmen like um, Tesla, is it Elon Musk? Yeah, mm -hmm. that's him, right? Mm -hmm. Tesla, yep. I just go, Tesla, it's so pretty. Mm -hmm. uh, I think he's actually weirdly incarnated sure. time traveler. Sure. I think he was in the future, came back, and came back here I and agree. created it. Wow. That's what yeah. I think. I actually was thinking yes. that the other day. I'm for like, sure. there's no way he got that and does what he does without being really hooked up. And I think he's in two different spaces. So I don't even think we understand what we're doing here. Mm -hmm. And no, I'm not high. So don't <laughs> <laughs> All have what she's having. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. We'll so, take two of those. Yeah, right. So Sloan, I'm wondering at what point in your life did you realize you had these abilities? 
Okay, everybody asks that because, of course, you want to know. Um, I never realized I didn't have them. So, like, just being a girl, I knew I was a girl. So, somehow I knew that. I don't remember anybody saying, you're a little girl. Mm -hmm. I just knew. So, psychically, I, this was just the way I responded. Wow. Yeah, so I just responded. I never thought there was anything wrong with it. I thought everybody had it. So, I thought everybody had two hands, two feet. I've come to learn since that not everybody has everything that we think they have. But... Um, yeah, there was nothing in it for me. Now, my family was like, what the heck are you talking about? You know, that kind of thing. Wait, so. did, did, did that cause you to overlook the gift at all? Because I know that in my life, you know, the things that I've just known from birth, mm -hmm. I've not nearly appreciated as much as the things that were discoveries, so to speak. Oh, I, yes, right? yes, yes, yes. Okay, um, that's a good question. I think the way that I approached the psychic stuff when I was little was just like, I, you know, I would tell people whatever, and I got in a lot of trouble for opening my mouth in family settings where people were doing naughty things, and I might have brought it out. I might have been spanked and grounded quite a bit for that. <laughs> <laughs> Sent to the backyard, <laughs> go to the pool house. Uh -huh. um, you're in trouble. Go walk the dog. We didn't have a dog, but, uh, you know, that yeah. kind of thing. But I actually, it's not that I overlooked it, I fought it. Because for me, I knew it was what I was supposed to do. So I never said, oh, I'm going to go be a whatever people say. It was just what I was supposed to do. And I actually was pissed off that I had to, like, I was like, I don't want to do that. I've always said if I could work at Starbucks, because I, I love Starbucks. Oh, if I could work at Starbucks, I'd do that. You know, like, I'd literally do that. But I'd end up reading the people that came up for coffee. <laughs> I was thinking, like, I was thinking of, like, um, like, someone who is gay and has to come out of the closet. It's like, this is my truth. I can't deny it. Yes. And that's what I feel about my spirituality. And like, don't you feel like it's like, this is something that you have to do. Like, it would be suppressing yourself. Well, if it wasn't yeah, I, I'm more afraid. Yeah, it would be suppressing myself. And I don't necessarily mind that I could like to be in denial I like to all of this however I feel that I'd have to come back and live this life again and do it again and that's what terrifies me right. I'm like I'm not wow. able to do that <laughs> right. I'm like no thanks I've literally had that thought a thousand <laughs> times and you'll have it like, till the day you die yeah. every time you'll be like something goes and you're like it right the oh. first time yeah. yeah well it's not even the first time it's probably well, the fifth right. yes, time right. but well we're gonna take a little break when we come back we want to hear hmm. about your journey because we know you've worked with celebrities you've been on shows you've been we want to get into that in places. conversation and then on the yeah, segment yeah. after that we're going to we want to do a little so if you could get up a little reading or take us through an intuitive process so stay tuned you guys we will be <laughs> right back live from los angeles welcome back to good morning lalan it's an incredible honor to be having a really amazing conversation with sloan bella so we want to talk to you a little bit about some of your experiences in reading celebrities right we've seen you on kimmel we've seen you on e and you've really experienced breakups deaths marriages all through your abilities. Absolutely. It's interesting with everybody, not just celebrities. But yeah, the celebrities are, um, that's a hard thing to do because we have current psychics out there that read just celebrities. So I'm very cautious about not bringing up things that would be easily accessible to them. But they have the same issues that you and I have and everybody has when people die in their family, when they're single, especially when they're single. Wow. That's 90% of my work. It's like, oh, my God. <laughs> the love force. Yeah. Yes. Love. Yes, yes. Oh. Always love. It's either health or love. Um, very interesting because they're, they come to me from the other side. And so if I know the person, like if I met you and, you're, and I – you know, you came to me enough, your people would start coming through to me. So with celebrities, it's the same thing. And some of them, I've read them, their kids. A lot of people send their kids to me because I work well with um, 20 and under, like mm. the, the, the younger ones, helping them understand because a lot of these kids are psychic and don't get it or mm. don't understand it. So um, I work with them. And then sometimes it's just really fun to read celebrities. It's just great fun. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Yeah. Because we feel like we know them, right? Because so much totally. of their lives are public and we feel like we're experiencing their emotions. We're attached to them. So it's really interesting then when you maybe get like some knowledge about their future or their past, right? Yeah, it's like I was intriguing. Talking, I have to tell you, I was talking to this really beautiful model. She was a very tall, uh, like yourself, tall, thin girl. And she was a model and she was very well known and she had boyfriend issues and she would come to me and she dated these fabulous men that we know and I remember looking at her she was just sitting I read at my kitchen table just in my little mm. house in my kitchen table and you know I used to have my kids screaming in the background because when they were little the people would come but she was sitting there and she used to fall asleep on my couch her girlfriend would get a reading then she'd wake up and come over and 
sit down and I said to her, you know, you're going to marry an action figure hero. And I could not see the person, but I just saw like an action, like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah. And that's what I said to her. I said, you're going to marry somebody that's an action figure hero. So anyway, she was dating people, dating people. And one day she calls up and she says, I'd like you to meet my boyfriend. And I said, sure. She goes, can you come out and see him before we leave town? I'm like, yeah. Okay, can we guess who it is? I see dead people is who it was. Do you know who that is? Oh. I don't see, I do see them, but that's not what I'm saying. <laughs> oh my gosh, no, 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 no. High sounds. Is yes. Yeah. And yes. so, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. Mr. Bruce, yes. Wow. So on her way through it, it was actually really fascinating. I really enjoyed meeting him and actually lovely person and quite intuitive. And that's why he's successful. You're not not successful because you're not intuitive. You have to be able to tap in and know what to do. Right. Die hard. You Die, know? Yeah. Like full on. Yeah. But he was an action figure yeah. hero. Yeah. Yes. Wow. Because I couldn't hard. see him. He was him. in the action figure in Die Hard. Yes. Yeah, okay, right? there you uh -huh. go. Yeah. So uh -huh. I could not see him or I would have known who right. it was. Mm -hmm. But I just kept saying wow. it to her. And of course, she thought I was like insane, <laughs> like mentally ill and insane. And then called me one day and I was like, <laughs> my hand over the phone I'm like get a load of this one <laughs> do I want to come meet him sure why would I not right. so that was actually yeah. really exciting and then my favorite ones are my uh, of course heavy metal people that I deal with I love them <laughs> so, uh, I'm you, sorry, I'm not classically no, involved. But. but you've actually had conversations I've read with Kurt Cobain. Yeah, Kurt Cobain. Um, he, um, every time it's his, it's weird. When I was pregnant with my youngest son, I believe, is when he passed. And so I hooked right into that energy at that time. Huge fan, of course. Mm -hmm. And hooked right into that energy. And it's interesting because you will hear a lot of psychics say stuff about who's, you know, haunting an area. People don't really haunt areas. They haunt people. Mm -hmm. I mean, they come for their people. Right. Mm -hmm. But you'd say you're a clairvoyant, wouldn't you? Because yes. you see, you have actual I see them. Right. Yes. And mine's, not, mine's more of a knowing, right? Well, you feel it. And, That's empathic. And for you, yeah. yeah. So you're it, a clairvoyant. But it, it works for our bodies, how we harness energy. So, for example, if you're going to be psychic or intuitive or even mediumship, it's going to come to you logically. So you will say, well, I feel like my grandfather's here. And so your mom would say, well, why do you feel like that? Well, just because I thought of him and this and that. And you'd be like, okay, well, why does that mean he's here? Well, you're like, it's obvious. Mm -hmm. So it would come through you in a logical way. Men read logically. Like they'll tell you it's matter of factly. And so do Virgo women, if there's any Virgo women in the group. Mm -hmm. no, they're Virgo Very women. Very logical. <laughs> yeah, yes. they come through. Mm -hmm. It comes through to them like, I know this. Of course you yeah. would do this. But mm -hmm. the rest of us are like, huh? Mm -hmm. What? Mm -hmm. And so that's, so for Virgo, and by the way, Virgo is the most psychic sign. People argue with me all the time. They say Pisces. And I'm saying, if you can get a Pisces sober, yes. No offense <laughs> yeah. to the Pisces. Oh my gosh, I know. I know. I'm going to get hate mail now. <laughs> it's my astrology joke. Come on. Really? Are you a Pisces? No. No. Oh, good. No, no, no. I'm a Gemini. <laughs> okay, that's good. Oh, cute. Okay, that's good. <laughs> what? What, what does that mean? There's, well, you're cute, and there's 16 of you coming out. <laughs> <laughs> Gemini is interesting because it rules. It's mm -hmm. in opposition. You guys are, like, both ruling the mind, but you are more the the day-to-day -day knowledge of the mind, and you're the more in-depth part of the mind. Mm. So Very true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, you, you will get gather everything in the neighborhood. So you'll go down the street and you'll be like, oh, this person's doing this. This one's parking their car That's over there. So exactly. And you'll be like, why do I care? <laughs> yeah. And you'll She's be like, genius at that yeah. too, right? But mm -hmm. it's good for you because mm -hmm. you get you will hone in on something. You're... you're um, your great athletes and people that are very perfected at skills usually have a lot of Virgo in them mm -hmm. because it's it's honed. Mm -hmm. Gemini is supposed to learn about the neighborhood. I'm, I, that's right? why I'm so social. That's what right. That's that's your deal, but that's what you're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. That's actually there's two different elements of the mind: one Gemini, one Virgo, and that's what you're actually supposed to be doing. So you're doing well, it. Well, that's good. I'm living my truth. <laughs> yeah, right? well, you are. And, yeah. And California is a Cancer. Well, actually, I'm sorry. <clears throat> The United States is Cancer Gemini energy. Cal I'm, Hollywood is Virgo, and then we have the Leo underneath it. Okay, so so Cal has like a Leo tone to it, but actually Hollywood is Virgo. So it's very specific about how they do shows. It's not easy. You just don't go do a show. Like I think I'll go do a show, right? Mm -hmm. right. So America or the country of the United States is Gemini Cancer, apple pie and communication. Mom, apple pie communication. Mm -hmm. That's what wow. we are. So you fit in here. 
Very perfect. Yeah, and, That's and then he's here. He's here. Yeah. 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 They're very intuitive, okay? One of my mm -hmm. favorite people who I used to speak of rock stars, used to speak to as a child without knowing who it was, was Jimi Hendrix, mm. Sagittarius, okay? Wow. Beyond, beyond, amazing. Like he used to come to me for real and I did not know who it was, I was wow. a kid. And so um, I, I came to know who it is and I'm like so grateful. But it's really interesting because Sag is both here and on the other side. So when I look at people's charts, like if somebody calls me and they say their relative is sick, and they give me an astrology chart, I will look to see where your ruling planet is, Jupiter, and I will look to see if it's coming up on their Mercury to see if they're going to pass soon. That's how we wow. astrologer types, not the yeah. psychic part of me. The I had to go for the oh, logical. Yeah. 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 What day are you in Sag? <laughs> oh, 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 um, what day are you? I'm uh, December 20th. The 20th. Yeah. Okay, so you're, that's his logical because you would progress. We move through about three different signs in a lifetime. So when you start off as Gemini or Sag, go ahead three signs, presuming you live to be 80. Okay, yeah. so let's just hope or not. I don't know what everybody wants here. I'm hoping to get off the planet before that. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> taking a trade out. But you go through three different signs. All our planets move. So it's 30 degrees and we move oh, through wow. signs. And I'm all hands. I know you can like put your hands down. Um, it's the Italian side that I don't have. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm adopting it. So interesting. So at what point then do you move into a different sign? Well, it depends on your birth chart. So we each sign is zero to 30 degrees. So if you're born with, say, 15 degrees Gemini sun, then by the time you're 15, you've hit a cancer energy. You're still Gemini, but it's like when you're a little girl and you're like this big and yeah. you don't wear your makeup and maybe you don't like the way like your cheeks look or something and you're like, oh God. And then you grow up to be a little bit, you know, hit puberty, you lean out, then you hit your 20s, you get a maturity, you hit your 40s, it's different, you hit your 60s, it's different. So it's like that with astrology. We ground into the sign and it morphs with tones like makeup. Wow. So you have your natural beauty and then you put stuff on. So it, it evolves. Morphs. It yeah. does. Well, that's why people who are Gemini and then you'll meet like 10 of them and you'll be like, they're all different. Interesting. Wow. Like they're so different. So you can't fit them all in one thing. Okay, this is going, the time's going by so fast. We need to take another break. When we come back, a break. Uh, we want more reading for you. Yeah. <laughs> and any other thing that is bubbling up for you, I'm going to let you just take charge of this next because you are so good. I'm so impressed by this interview Wee. and I'm having so much fun. I <laughs> never want yeah. to leave. So stay tuned, you guys. We'll be I right never back. have this much fun in the <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Good Morning All In. We are having so much fun with Miss Sloan Bella today. Thank you again for, for being here and for sharing such insight with Super us. Super right? excited. Yeah. yeah. A fun bunch, making me more wild. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love, uh, you know, any intuition you have, any guidance. Uh, you know, getting in touch with our intuition. Any tips you have for people? You're already for there. To... Mm. She's like, I'm going to play dumb. <laughs> yeah, she's <laughs> like, we just want to share. Well, it's it's an incredible opportunity we have with this platform to not only learn ourselves, but to share that experience with the audience, with the right? People. With the people. It's funny because I consider Aaron, you know, such an expert. And for me, I'm like, I'm the girl who's still figuring it out, right? I'm the one who's still doing the work. They've been no, the experts and figured it out. We're all doing, we're so all doing right. it. All doing yeah, we work. all we learn through it. You'll never know enough. As you get older, you'll be saying, I know nothing. Yeah, uh, absolutely. As I've gotten older, I, I realize I know less and less. I know 100%. absolutely nothing. Yeah. yeah. Um, but if you want to learn how to open up your tuition, intuition, you guys, um, the first thing you have to do is learn how to trust what you say, not second guess yourself, not argue with people about it. If somebody's arguing with you and you know what you want to do, you don't have to argue back. You don't have to be right. It doesn't matter because it's your life. And mistakes are the best thing. We call them mistakes. They are not mistakes. They are things that we learn not to do again through trial and error. And with intuition, sometimes we are guided to learn a lesson. Mm -hmm. It's not perfect. So we are guided into a situation where we go, oh, why the heck did I do that? You need to just do it. That's it's a lesson. Interesting. Embrace I think it. A, lo um, a lot of folks um, believe that intuition if you were trusting it and following it, it would 
you know, lead to this perfect life, but actually <laughs> not at all. Oh, I'm proof yeah. that it doesn't. Yeah. I am living proof of that. Yeah. No, it leads to your lessons because there's a whole hierarchy of things going on behind the scenes of what we are here to learn. Earth is a school and there's a waiting list to get here, apparently, mm -hmm. if you believe in reincarnation and the other side. I, if you don't, then I'm just crazy. So, okay. <laughs> um, so <laughs> this is that. like a boot camp here. So we come to learn. So even if you date the wrong person, pick the wrong job, mm -hmm. go to, you know, do whatever it is wrong, it, it's not wrong. That's society saying it's wrong. 100%. Our soul, even if you spent, I'll just use an example, one of my favorite examples, because the mother that raised me was South African at, from birth, um, oh. it was Nelson Mandela. Look at his life of being speaking and being locked up, locked up, right. okay? He did it anyway, which if he's thinking about it, he's like, why did I do that? And then he came out and changed the world piece by piece. So his actual lesson was to experience that. And when I was reading about him recently, he was talking about being locked up and being rageful and getting past that and going to the higher part of his mind. So he actually needed to be shut down mm -hmm. from the physical human experience to get to the spiritual experience in his mind. And that's where he led from when he came out. No question. So that was the journey. Now we look at it in earth years and go, oh my God, any Anybody spending any time doing something they're miserable at is not right, but actually it's a learning lesson. Regardless, bad, it could be bad marriage, bad job, um, bad neighborhood, bad school, private school, whatever. I've had every version of this come to me for readings. It's not, it's a lesson. What do you get from it? Because it's in in that nuance. So it is in effect right. the journey. And so mm -hmm. don't you think that's interesting because as, you know, is there a divine destiny versus not? And I want to oh. know what you think because I definitely have my opinion around that. So I'm curious Okay, to know. so mm -hmm. I have struggled with this because I get mad. I scream every day. I'm like, oh yeah, this is amusing. Okay, this is really <laughs> not amusing. I believe we have free will within certain elements that are chosen for us on a soul level. So my kids were gonna be my kids, your kids, your kids, your kids are gonna be your kids, okay? So the people we have children with, whether we like it or not, whether it's uh, you know agreeable or it's some kind of like, say it, it, it's a date rape thing, we still agree to have those kids come through in that way for whatever the experience, but how we react to it is our free will. So I believe mm. there's like maybe 20 different things that are picked for us. So uh, my psychic work, th there's not that that was picked for me. I can't get away from it. I've tried. <laughs> I've mm -hmm. tried to do everything. Yeah. I try to escape all the time. It's not working because I'll end up reading strangers. So, you know, you might as well do it. But how I respond is my free will in the interim. So how I treat you guys, how we treat each other, and what I choose to do with that information is my free will. Mm -hmm. So it's both, I, I love think. That. Wow. I think. I think it's both so, as well. Yeah, mm -hmm. me Absolutely. too. So is mm -hmm. the curriculum at the end of the day or lifetime or many lifetimes the same? Are there like a finite number of lessons that everybody is here? Yeah. When is Rob done checking out her list? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Help me get to the end of the internet here. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Okay, well, I'm so confused web. by that. Yeah. I gotta look at a skirt and somehow totally. I'm over here in New York totally. looking at somebody on a, a camcorder going through. Yeah. Often that's the way your life is. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, wait, I'm looking for a skirt. Um, I don't know about that because yeah. I think that it depends. I don't feel we have to come back here. So I feel we have free choice about whether to come back here. I think we get tricked on the other side. This is my new consensus. I'm like, <laughs> it's not happening. I'm not doing it. I don't care what you say. I'm yeah. going to help from the other side where <laughs> I don't have to worry about this. Uh, but I, I don't know if there's an ending. I don't know the end por part because it's source and I don't know what that means. I think it's, I've, I'm out of body a lot and they show me things, but I can't even understand half the things I see. Yeah. We live in different dimensions. Mm -hmm. We, I, I mean, the things that I see completely sober people too um, mm -hmm. and, that I see so I don't know right to answer your question, question I don't yeah. know not a don't know yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you are a wealth of wisdom you're the, so happy you're, to the, be here. you're the real deal you know what I mean like yeah I think there's a lot of psychics that kind of do fluffy kind of all over and doesn't work you are to the point I love that about you I love that you own it and you're like this is what I am this is my truth deal. And this is the real deal, deal. So, deal. I love people. it we yeah. would love to have you back I could so talk to you for you guys. 10 yeah. more hours and I definitely Excellent. I want a reading. Yes, yeah, we yeah. will there definitely be talking to Sloan Bella. Thank you so much for being here. We're America's you. first live streaming daily talk show, Good Morning Very Ballin, excited. coming to you Monday through Friday at 9 a.m. on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter. Now also on Connect TV, Apple TV, and Roku. Right. It's going to be a good morning, Lala Land. Waking up the world together. Have a great day, you guys.